Okay, one more thing to add that I forgot about. About five bay leaves or a few more per pound of, of beef. Put those in there, maybe on top, or maybe get them soaked in there a little bit. Some bay leaf. Gives a little bit of homey flavor. Do not put too much water in it. Don't make it too thin. It's supposed to be chunky. I put, maybe put a little bit more water in it than I said. But it's not supposed to be very much water. Um, if in doubt, you know, if you're making a lot, you can put a good amount of pepper in it because it won't, you know, you're making a pound. Just, just with the beef, you can put some more pepper in it. Put some more salt in it. Don't make it too salty, of course. You can serve it with olive oil, on, on pasta, olive oil and Parmesan cheese, and um, it's pretty much done. That stuff will probably, those, those bay leaves will probably sit in there a while and it may take a while for all that flavor to come out. Now you can put celery leaves in it, that's optional too. Celery leaves are optional, um, fennel or, or um, aniseed is optional. Um, carrots are optional. Yeah, and yeah. Anyway, bay leaves are kind of optional, but it's it's not good. So you end up with. So I guess you have to reach towards the bottom because you don't stir it. You don't stir it very much. What you end up is. with kind of beef chunks. I like it kind of chunky. You can break up the beef chunks a little bit. This is not spaghetti and meatballs. This is my, what my family made. Looks something like this. Carrots might be in there. Maybe good a little, maybe better overnight. It's good in the refrigerator. It lasts for a long time. You got this. You got the beef. You've got green pepper, oregano. Hoping this oregano is going to turn out good using it fresh. I use quite a bit. And um, onion and all that stuff in there. You put that on top of some pasta. Cook pasta according to the package directions. Put some olive oil on it if you want to. That's optional, but a lot of people like it. It's what they do in Italy. And put on some Parmesan cheese, some salt and pepper if necessary. Gonna, it's, the noodles are going to reduce the amount of salt per bulk for the whole for the whole meal because the noodles aren't going to have much salt in them if you cook them in salt, um, salt water. So that's it. And see how it turned out. Not bad. Very herby food. I like herbs. Buon appetito and buongiorno. Mangiala buono.